Joffrey the Giant learns Latin like a bula. Doink. Hello, Joffrey the Giant tribe. Uh, this is another Latin video, and I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I am trying to do to the Latin learning community what I did with the pipe smoking community years ago, which is to make videos that uh, they want to interact with uh and, and i can engage and learn more that's what happened with with the pipes i learned so much about tobacco because people who knew about tobacco ended up getting in touch with me and you know hanging out online and boom there it is okay so i'm trying to do that with latin my hope is that my community you guys are into this you're into my usual geeking but focused on on latin so I'm taking a beginning Latin intensive this summer with the Ancient Language Institute, which actually sponsors this video. And one of the books we use is Lingua Latina per se illustrata, part one, Familia Romana. Okay, so this, uh, this book is all Latin, Hans Orberg. Okay, and so you read... And, oh, there's the focus. You understand, you ask, you answer questions, et cetera, et cetera. And you learn vocabulary by just having the, the, your spiral of vocabulary slowly increase. And through context, you can figure stuff out. It's nice to have other tools to amplify it, but this is the textbook we use. And I believe I have found an Easter egg, pun intended. And you will understand the pun soon in chapter seven of this book. What I would like is for people who are familiar with the author, uh, his life, familiar with, with the book, to maybe tell me if I am just making this Easter egg up. Um, you'll see the logic of it. Uh, and so it's, it's legit. But whether it's legit on the Joffrey the Giant level, or if this is a joke he intended to make, uh, or if other people have made this connection, I would absolutely love to hear it. But So in chapter 7, I'm going to show you guys now. In chapter 7 of this book, we learn about a taberna romana, a, a Roman shop. Okay, so here is this shop owned by Albinus. Okay, and you can see the sign there on the wall. He's selling jewelry. This is the gold digger chapter for those familiar uh, with this with this book he sells jewelry and this this girl wants her companion to buy her a jewel okay a, a, I shouldn't be saying jewel a, a gem okay so you can see on the left hand side that uh, there's gemma and margarita a, a margarita is a pearl that by itself was fascinating because so I'm coming at this as a Spanish and Portuguese speaker this is integral to at least how I arrived at, at, at finding the joke. Um, and so Margarita is, is a daisy. Okay. Um, and uh, I've, I've since checked. It's not how you say daisy in Latin. Uh, so Margarita is straight up just pearl. I remember telling a Margaret that her name meant daisy and she wasn't happy about that. Um, she gave another, another meaning. Um, Maybe it was Pearl, but anyway. Uh, so, Taberna Romana. I'm going to read you guys the text of the first paragraph here, okay? Uh, and Latin lovers do feel free to comment on my pronunciation. Eke Taberna Romana, in qua gemai et margaritae multae sunt. Cuius est haec taberna? Albini est. Albinus hanc tabernam habet. Qui tabernam habet tabernarius est? Albinus est tabernarius romanus qui gemai et margaritas vendit. Ali tabernarii libros vendunt, ali mala et pira, ali rosas et lilia. Okay. So, behold, eke homo, right? Behold the Roman shop. Um, in which gems and pearls are many, in which there are many gems and pearls. Whose is this shop? 
it is Albinus's. Albinus's tavern. Albinus has this tavern. Uh, let's see. Uh, because he has a shop, he is a shopkeeper. Uh, Albinus is uh, the Roman shopkeeper who sells gems and pearls. Other shops sell books. Other shops sell apples and pears. Uh, still other shops, roses and lilies. Okay, so he's not a florist. He is not a bookseller. He is a jewelry seller. Okay. So here's the the joke, the connection. And I love, this is one of the things I like, you know, I'm a language teacher and then now I'm a language learner. This is the kind of thing, the connections that, that I delight in. All right, so let me walk you through uh, my logic here before arriving at telling you what the Easter egg is. Okay, this is a chicken egg labeled scientifically. And you can see that the white is called the albumen. The yolk itself, so you see yolk, but then the membrane around the yolk is labeled as the vitelline membrane. And vitella is how you say yolk in Latin. Okay, but note that the white is the albumen albumen the albumen okay now gemai in spanish we have the word gemma yeah that y is going to be j give me gemma gemma in portuguese is gemma straight up with a g you can see the second definition there the central portion of the egg of oviparous vertebrates gemma most importantly, it's etymology from the Latin gamma. So this is actually what I wasn't sure of. It occurred to me while I was reading this. I wonder if it's connected to yolk. Like the gold part of the egg is the gem, the diamond, the precious stone of the egg, the valuable part. How does the riddle go? Uh, the Hobbit riddle? Uh, a, do uh, a box without lock key or lid yet golden treasure inside is hid so this golden treasure is the gemma from the latin gemma okay so now we end up back here in whitey's shop the shop is albinus's okay so inside Albinus's shop, inside the albumen that is the shop, are the gemstones, are the gemi. Do you buy this? Was this done on purpose to name the shopkeeper Whitey, to name him Albinus, just so that the shop would be an egg with the golden yolk of the treasure inside? Do you buy that? The shop as an egg? The albumen, it's Whitey's shop, and inside the treasure. Have I found a real Easter egg, or am I just making a very cool one up? What you're not allowed to say that is, is that it's not cool. Okay, that has been my geeking out uh, that I was experiencing uh, mid-Ancient Language Institute class today, like this, this, this morning. If you want to sign up for a Nation Language Institute course or just check it out, right? So they've got Greek, they've got Hebrew, Latin, um, ancientlanguage.com. And again, comment below. Is this nonsense or is it awesome? And have I found something that others have found and commented about before? That would actually uh, feel even cooler because then I would feel like, wow, I'm on the right track. I'm starting to get uh, this language. All right. The peace of Christ be upon you all. Aí sim é um homem de verdade, não é esses troços do grupo não. Essas carcaças velha o UOL, fim de carreira. Cadê você, profeta, autarquia? Hein? Pedrada no inferno. Fala comigo aí, matador de demônio. Hein?